Hello YouTube. I've been collecting a bunch of Z-Max over the years. Uh, ones I were was able to pick up at flea markets and here and there. So I thought we'd go ahead and crack them open. Got some Target Red editions too. Uh, some of these were also Instagram purchases and stuff over the years that I wasn't able to find in the stores and then uh, wasn't able to crack it open once I did get it. So uh, I want to put them all in the loose Hot Wheels collection now since it's organized. Uh, so the first one's a Target Red, cool combi. from 2016 I think this one instantly was going for uh, pretty decent money on eBay and Instagram I was only able to get one of them I'm on the hunt for the Hello Kitty cool combi I like to collect the cool combi, but for some reason it seems like a really hard casting for me to get. I like, there's only one variation, I think the Magnus Walker one. That's the only one I ever found in the stores, I think. Then we got new for 2013, 68 Shelby GT500. Be nice to add a whole bunch of Z Max to the loose collection. Something I never ever find in the stores. Uh, two out of the three Walmarts that I have that I could possibly drive to, uh, two of them I have never ever seen a Z Mac at. The other one, I think I have only once. In the next one, ZMAC number two for 2017, we have the Ford Focus RS. So, of course, I had to crack this open for the Ford, Ford Focus uh, collection. Of course, all the ZMACs are raw metal. They still put the decals on. The next one's a casting I do collect. Usually if I go out of my way to pick up a Z-Mac, it's because it's a casting I do collect, like the 67 Chevy C10 from Hot Trucks. It's from 2016. So, as you can see, we got a big pile of them to crack open. Could have went without the red windshield on this one. Like the red stripe on the tires, though. Next one, Z-Mac from number two again, from 2018 instead of 2017. So 2018 was your Hot Wheels 50th anniversary. And we got the 55 Corvette. I got a new turntable coming. Uh, lower profile I could not find the uh, I 
think it was Tarmac Works or NO64 was coming out with like an RWB one or something or a Liberty Walk one. I don't know. I saw it on Lamely once and I saw it on a couple other uh, people have it. But I've searched the internet, I've searched eBay, I've searched everything and have not been able to find that turntable. So, you got one very similar to it coming. Next one's another Target Red, which is a casting I do collect, the 68 Chevy Nova. And I think the red windshields are going to be pretty common on the red editions, probably. Got 350 on the back. Once in a great, great while, I might find a Target Red. Might get lucky and find one. Not very often. Never find the casting I'm looking for, but... Like, there's a... Is it the Volkswagen pickup? That was a red edition I need. I can't can't find it. Uh, never come across it. Oh, there's a couple others that I've been on the hunt for. For like years. Uh, is there a 55 gasser? I don't think I have. But I did go out of my way to purchase this little red express. 1978 Dodge Little Red Express, which should only come out in red. I think Dodge only released the Little Red Express in red. I think they did release it in other colors, but they uh, called it something else. They only called it the Little Red Express in red. And I actually knew somebody uh, had one of these restored, and they used it to pull around their uh, old Dodge Hemi on a trailer. So I thought it was really cool. I'm like, uh, if you're going to tow a vehicle to a car show, what better to tow it on than an old classic that's all restored itself? But this looks pretty good in the satin white with the red stripes. Of course, a little red express looks awesome in red. Next one, can't believe I didn't have this cracked open. A 67 Pontiac GTO. I looked all through my GTO collection and I could not find this one, so I'm gonna crack it open. Of course, GTOs are like burgundy cars to me or green body green machines. I'll buy every one I see that I don't have. So, always happy to add a GTO to the GTO collection. Next, we have a, an older blue card. I don't say Z-Mac on it, but man, it no, it's painted. It looks... But we got a 59 Chevy. Not a Z-Mac, but somehow I got it mixed in with the group. And it's definitely not a Z-Mac. It's definitely painted. Don't look bad. I haven't saw them rims forever. It's even been a long time since I cracked something open with them rims on it. To me, that's a kind of iconic rim for me for Hot Wheels. I think they used it quite a bit on older castings or something similar to it. I don't know why that rim really stands out to me. You can't even see the back ones. Next, we have a 67 Ford Mustang Coupe Z-Mac from 2014, and it was number nine. So how many Z-Macs do they release every year? 
12 or 16? Comment down below if you know the answer to that. How many Z Max are released every year? 12 or 16? And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. I got tons of cars to crack open. Uh, those are all the ones that I did not have that I already went through my Hot Wheels collection and confirmed I do not have none of these. So all of them will be cracked open. Right after we get through all these Z Max here. So. Actually, it looks pretty good in the metal with the uh, metal finish with the red stripes. I like that Mustang. Next one's a casting I do collect from Hot Wheels. is a 76 Greenwood Corvette. Absolutely love the Greenwood Corvette. Uh, it's based on a real car, a real race car from the 70s. And... Uh, if you never heard of it or nothing, look it up. It's a really awesome race car. They really did widen it and uh, did really good on the track, but it looked really freaking awesome too. So I'm glad Hot Wheels did this casting, and they also uh, did do this, I think, in a Super Treasure Hunt too. Pretty sure they had a Super Treasure Hunt release. They've had quite a few like premium releases of it, I think. Not sure, but I think they did. Like a melon. Next one was really hard for me to get, but one I had to have when it came out. So I went out of my way to get it. It's a Datsun 620. And probably cost me 10, 50, or no, probably cost at least 15 or 20 bucks, I bet. I almost remember getting it off of Instagram. Just like this one cost me like 15, 20 bucks off Instagram when it came out. And you could still find it in the stores. And look, it even has a set of moon eyes on it. You just got to throw them moon eyes in there for the moon eyes collectors, I guess. <laughs> but I had a container I kept all these carded ones in and uh, as I'm cracking open more and more of the die cast collection uh, going right through them so Much easier keeping your die cast organized as a loose collector than it is a carded collector. A uh, carded collector, you have to worry about keeping the condition of the card good. So even storing them, uh, just the way you stack them and organize them in your storage, and then they're they're stored away. You don't see them. Uh, they're and uh, uh. Just to let you guys know, give you a heads up, there will be a few videos of me cracking open a bunch of older auto rolled. Uh, some of them can go for quite a bit on eBay and stuff. Some are really hard to find, but I had an extremely large carded auto rolled collection. And uh, when I was going through it and organizing it, some of their older releases, the blisters turned yellow. So even storing them in boxes in a climate controlled area where there is no sunlight because I always thought it was the sunlight that turned the blisters yellow that's what I always thought the sun broke down the blister but uh, come find out they'll even turn yellow sitting in a box so so just a heads up to you carded collectors if uh, the blister is prone to turning yellow it's not going to matter how you store it but if you do store them in the sunlight too, that will destroy them real quick. So, we got the a Z Mac from 2017, number 9. The Dodge Ram. The Toyo Tires delivery. I'm really digging these green tires. 
the green bead block. I think this, the dots in 620 weighs more than this. Pretty light casting. I don't know what they do to lighten up their metal sometimes. And we got a tampo air that you would have never seen because that side's against the card. And see, that's a risk you take too. Oh, if you're carded, you can see it see that it's perfect then if you're a loose collector you see the other side now I opened up a cool combi that was kind of rare kind of hard to get a little expensive and it looked perfect in the blister it was a car culture or pop culture release but when I opened it it was missing the tampo from the other side you would have never known it was an error if you didn't open it and then once it's open, an error like that would be really easy to fake. Because you can remove the tampos real easy from Hot Wheels if you know how to. There's special buffing wheels for it. Uh, you can use acetone. You can use nail polish remover. Depends. The pop cultures are clear coated over, so they're harder to remove. But uh, it's really easy to remove them. So once it's open... Start to say it's an error. Somebody can easily fake it. Carded, you would have never have known. The next one's a Chevelle SS from 2014. Probably be a heck of a lot cheaper and easier to go after all the Z Max ever release and all the Supers. And that'd probably be a kind of. I think it'd be a pretty neat collection to have all the Z-Max. This looks really good with the blue interior and blue rims and the blue paint. It all just kind of highlights each other. And the next one, we have a 67 Camaro. And this one was impossible for me to get. I actually think I got it at the flea market. But I think even the guy at the flea market, who's usually extremely reasonable, I think he still wanted like 10 bucks for this. 15 Man, I might have got this from the guy at Rogers. This came out in 2017. This was a super that I, me and my buddy... We drove when the cases were hitting. Uh, you could use, uh, uh, there was a website that would tell you when the cases were hitting, what stores. And uh, we drove from where I live. There's a pretty good sized city, a couple of them, like an hour uh, west of here and an hour uh, east of here. And we drove both directions multiple times, hitting up everything we could looking for that super never did find it we never found these z max when they came out either uh we went to the flea market he bought one of these i think uh he paid 20 bucks for it because he had to have it and uh i passed up on it at that time for 20 bucks I think I ended up breaking down and paying like 15 bucks for it at the flea market from the same guy. A different time when I went. So, never looked on eBay for this. Don't know what it goes for. But I can imagine this probably goes for quite a bit. Just like the Bugatti or any of them. Sometimes they can average $20, $25. Next, and the last one we have is a custom Ford Bronco. I guess this is a casting I collect. 
didn't realize it until I seen how many of them I had. And uh, Hot Wheels and Matchbox. Matchbox makes one extremely similar. It's identical, actually, besides it doesn't have the lights on the top. That's the only difference with the Matchbox. Besides that, it's identical. So between the Matchbox and this, which the Matchbox I get a lot of times in five packs when I pick them up for other castings. I think that's how I ended up with some of the Hot Wheels. And, of course, it came out in series that I collected, too. So. so, that's all I got to show you today. Whole bunch of Z-Max. And some Target Reds. Happy to finally have that cool combi cracked open and that Camaro I've had that Camaro for so long wanting to open it three three four years now I've had it but the hunt for it took forever probably took a year there's one I was patient for and still never got a good deal on Wish I could pick up more of these Z Max and Target Reds. Uh, I've never got like a Walgreens exclusive. I don't have any Kroger, so I've never got any Kroger exclusives. There's actually a couple Kroger exclusives I would absolutely love to have, but they're extremely hard to find. And uh, they're even hard to find on eBay. So. When you do, they tend to go for a ton. I think there's a Batmobile Kroger's Special Edition I want that goes for a ton on eBay. So, make sure you like, subscribe, and uh, have a good day.